Hi everyone, this is Zaid Larissi, Product Consultant of Serverless 360. I welcome you all to this webinar on Azure Logic App Better Managed and Monitored Using Serverless 360. Here I have with me Nishant Prapakaran, Junior Product Consultant of Serverless 360. And I would let Nishant do the initial talking. Over to you, Nishant. Thank you, Leila Rasi. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining this webinar. In this webinar, we are going to talk about Azure Logic Apps and how it can be better managed and monitored using Serverless 360. Let's start with the question, what is Azure Logic Apps? Azure Logic Apps is a cloud service that helps you automate and orchestrate business process and workflows. It uses connectors to orchestrate the workflow, which, can, which will simplify designing and building the scalable solutions. Azure Logic Apps follows a workflow model. Let's see where the Azure Logic Apps is used in the business. Azure Logic Apps is used to create the business orchestrations by providing pre-built APIs as Microsoft managed connectors. To have an example for business orchestration, let's take a simple cap booking scenario here. When the user books a cab through the web application, the booking message will be sent to the service bus. And when there is a message, the logic app will get triggered and validate the message, whether it is valid or not, with function apps. And send those messages to the topic subscriptions with valid and invalid subscriptions, which consist of rules defined to filter the messages. In this scenario, we can see the logic app has the full control over the activities. Though it has the powerful capabilities, there are some challenges in, in managing and monitoring the logic apps with Azure Portal. The first one would be no failure detection. The testing the logic app, whether it is working or not, is simple by just triggering the logic app and we can take the necessary action when there is a failure or error. But when the logic app tests some production activities, it might get triggered so many times and there will be a need to monitor those trends. With any of the monitoring solution in Azure, it is not possible to monitor the failure. So user would need a separate monitoring solution to monitor the logic apps. The next one would be the consolidated monitoring. When there is a need to get the consolidated report on performance and consumption and the status and the failure of the logic apps, it is not at all possible with any of the monitoring solution in that Azure provides. The next one would be the no workflow tracking. There are, uh, the logic apps might, the logic app might have several business process and transaction there would be a need of tracking the end-to-end -end workflow of the logic app as well as the business process. So that, there, is no, there is no monitoring tool in the Azure portal can track the end-to-end -end, end -end flow of the logic apps. Next one would be no auditing. Consider a scenario when there are multiple users working on a single entity there might be a need of tracking the user activities. Though Azure has tracking capabilities, it will be specific to the developers and not for the support people. So there will be a need of moving to another solution. So what would be the solution? We all know that one platform to manage and monitor the Azure serverless applications, that is serverless 360. Regarding logic app in serverless 360, we can check the run or trigger history. We can resubmit the run. We can monitor the logic app. We can track the business process and lot more. First, lots, let's start with the management capability that serverless 360 provides for logic apps. As a developer, I would need to uh, check the input and output bound or the tracking ID of the logic apps. With the, we, can, we can check the trigger history and the run history in the logic app itself. We can also get the input and output bound of each triggers, and we can also get the tracking ID too. 
In the logic app run history, we can check the status of each and every actions, whether it is skipped or succeeded or failed. We can also get the tracking ID for each and every access uh, for each and every actions in the run history itself. We can also resubmit the uh, logic app runs when it is failed. Addition to these capabilities, we can also achieve correlation for submissions. So with the correlation ID here, we can we can get to know uh, which is the parent class for this particular resubmit run. And we can also an ignored tag. With this ignored tag, we can intimate other users working on this particular logic app to not to make any action on this particular run. Without switching into the portal, we can also enable or disable the logic app. We can delete the logic app. We can run the triggers. We can also view the properties of the logic app from here itself. Say I'm a developer. Say I'm a develop. I'm a support engineer. I will need to check uh, how the orchestration of the logic app has been working, and I would need to get the status of each and every entity. For this serverless, for the, to solve this challenge, serverless 360 brought in the capability called the topology. With this topology, we can draw our own sitemap, and we can get to know the error details of that particular entity from here itself. The next one will be the monitoring. Monitoring in Azure, with the monitoring in, in Serverless 360, we can uh, detect the performance, we can detect the, we can detect the consumption state and the failure of the logic apps. Server, uh, monitors in the server, Serverless 360 provides a four types of monitors, a data monitor, a status monitor, threshold monitor, and the watch monitor. Say I'm a developer, I will need to get alerted when there is a failure in the logic app runs. For this scenario, uh, watch monitor would be the right solution, would be the right solution uh, which can detect the associated logic app for any failure based on the configurations we have made here. We can also get the alerts through the configured notification channel or the inbuilt email notification channel. In our subsequent release, we are also bringing in the filter-based monitoring. User can provide the content of the error as a filter, and watch monitor will alert only if the error matches the content we have provided. And next one will be the data monitor. As an admin for the cloud, I need to detect the performance and consumption of the logic apps. But it is not possible to uh, specifically detect the performance and the consumption of the large gap with any of the monitoring services that Azure provides. The Serverless 360 identified this challenge and comes with the solution called the data monitor. With the data monitor, we can uh, monitor the run latency, run success latency, and access uh, latency, and we can also monitor the billable executions. In the data monitor, we can also get a historical record of the alerts based on the frequency we have configured while creating the data monitor. Here we can check out uh, which are all the entities we have associated is in the failure state, and we can, as I have said previously, we can do the performance and consumption and the state of the logic apps. The next monitor we can see is threshold monitor. There might be a chance of some server outages which can turn the logic app into the disabled state. But the logic app might process some business activity, so it needs to be in an enabled state. With the autocorrect option in the logic app, in threshold monitor, we can configure the expected state and the number of retry attempts. So the threshold monitor will automatically correct the state into the expected state. 
and uh, yes yes we cannot uh, we need not do uh, so th there will not be any chance of uh, changing the current state uh, into any other state the logic app will autumn uh, the threshold monitor will automatically uh, tries the number of atoms and it will, it will just check uh, whether it whether there is any possible to change the uh, current state into the expected state and it will just turn it into uh, the expected expected state this threshold monitor will monitor the entities only when there is a violation and the next monitor would be the status monitor this monitor will give the status report of the entities this monitor will give the uh, status report of the entities at the specific times in a day based on the properties we have configured for logic app we can monitor the state so that we can get to uh, we can get the status report for every hour we have configured as threshold monitor So we have seen the monitoring capabilities uh, that helps a user in solving the business uh, needs. So I will hand over this session uh, to Elil to walk you through the business activity monitoring. Over to you, Elil. Thanks, Nishant. A quick summary of uh, what Nishant has been uh, interestingly walking us through. Uh, so here is my screen like I would like to quickly summarize what Nishant was talking about, the capabilities of serverless 360 that would let you better manage your uh, logic apps. So here we have got composite application dashboards, which would let you know the instant feedback on your entities. So at any point in time, get to know if your entities or a logic app encounters any issues, you get the issues right in front of you presented and take corrective action to take a corrective action you need not get into the azure portal you can enable or disable the state of the logic app or execute triggers or view its properties right from serverless 360 itself and we have got out of box monitoring requirements as Nishant was rightly mentioning to um, uh, meet the needs of a business, different business stakeholders. Say like we have threshold monitor with autocorrect capability to meet the need of a dev DevOps or a developer and uh, a data monitor uh, to let your architects decide whether they need to reconsider the consumption of the logic app or the, its performance or not. And you have got status monitor which you will keep your product managers informed on the performance of your logic app which decides the critical business flow in your orchestration and you have the watch monitor which would be of great help for the devops engineer to detect any failure in a specific run action or a trigger failure of a logic app so all these sound wonderful isn't it so we have added value to all of these with our latest inclusion of business activity monitoring so in a typical business uh, scenario our logic app is a place which would be um, defining uh, the uh, critical business orchestration so it becomes very uh, necessary for us to have an eye on the business flow through the logic app <coughs> So here I have got business activity monitoring, which will help me in investigating whether the message through my logic app has gone through as expected or not. So here is my business orchestration and I get a wonderful graph which shows me whether my message has passed through each and every stage or not. So unlike our uh, um, monitoring solutions that Nishant was uh, demonstrating, which were just plug and play, like you associate your uh, logic app and it will do all monitoring itself. But here you, we need to do some amount of instrumentation to let serverless 360 know about message state at every stage. And the definition of the business process, transactions within that and stages within that is all also up to us it is highly customizable and I'm going to walk you through uh, how we can create a business process transactions and stages within that so in this cap booking scenario booking validation is a critical business process uh, 
so which involves validating the user details the driver details the location details and then confirming the booking with the customer so this i have considered as one of the business processes in my business solution so what is a component of my business process my business process can have multiple transactions within that so here i have got a details validation as one of my transaction and every transaction in turn can have a number of stages within that and every stage can be happening in one of my business solution component say <clears throat> the topology diagram which nishant was displaying to you did have in service bus queue which is being listened by logica with the help of a function it validates the message and puts it into the topic so here my stages might happen either in the logic app or in the function or within the service bus entity so i would define my workflow in my logic app with little amount of instrumentation which would define these stages so i have got stages and i am tracking certain properties as a part of these stages too so there are important fields like driver id user id and driver location yes now i have defined my business process its transactions and its stages so now i should instrument my logic app to and pass on the necessary information or track messages to serverless 360 so how do i do that serverless 360 exposes its connectors in logic app so right now the bam connectors of serverless 360 are available in the premium tier of logic app but we are closing closely working with the logic app team to get it available even in the standard tiers but we do have an alternate for a quick use even now that is you can get your uh, our connector deployed into your azure subscription and you can start instrumenting your logic app so we will have to generate an api key from the settings section of serverless 360 which would let the logic app uh, bam connector know that this is the uh connection through which the mess the messages are being tracked so in the access keys uh, section of serverless 360 you can the bam connector api key which can be generated this key can be utilized to instrument cap so that should be our first step i would create an activity and i would um, attach it with this bam connection and i would define every stage with an start activity and an update activity run action so i can specify what are all the properties that i would like to track as a part of this activity and what is the business process that i am working with what is the business transaction and which is the stage that i am defining here we can choose to archive the message or not so in bam can also help you in reprocessing the failed transactions which for which this archive message is a prerequisite so with this set of information assuming that i have instrumented my logic app to represent the stages that i have defined in my business process i would be presented with my business transactions so a business transaction can be mapped on to a composite application for the support or a business users to view and uh, infer information from that so here i have an a staging booking management composite app which has been associated with the business process booking validation so the moment i associate the business process all the associated transactions would get listed here so as you observe here i have got certain predefined search results that would let me conveniently look at my business transactions so you can create as many queries as we wish and we can save them here for quick access so if my concern is to have a look at the failed transactions i can fire a query as simple as status is equal to failed 
and I can look for any fails transactions. So here I have presented with few of my failed transactions. The next step I would be interested on is trying to understand why did this fail. So I can get into the specific stage which has failed to understand what was the exception that has been locked. And I get presented with message details of a specific iteration. And I also get to see if the message is archived, then I can get to see the properties and details of the message readily available. And I can also have option to reprocess a stage. Say I can select reprocess and a stage which has been configured with reprocessing can be reprocessed. I can find the content of the message. Say at this point in time, the required driver was not available. So I would like to change the location to something else and I want to reprocess my message. So this is possible. So if not serverless 360, your support team might be struck with save, serving your customers better. But with serverless 360 business activity monitoring enabled, like they can get the answer for where is the message. So it's a billion dollar question for a support person to serve their customer better. But with serverless 360 BAM, it becomes quite easy to search for a message by a message ID. So here I would like to show you some of the predefined searches that I have put. So I can look at a specific driver's transaction in a specific location. I can have search to look at all bookings in a specific location and the specific duration. So it is up to us. You can build query as you wish to meet your business requirement and that can be made readily available for our support team to serve our customers much better. So how about a monitoring on this? So there could be need like I need to get alerted whenever number of failed transactions is greater than zero or I need to know whenever a specific user is repeatedly um, using the system for a uh, in, within a short period of time. Say in a two days of time, if they have more than 10 transactions, then I took get notified. It could be to give them a reward or so. So to meet certain business requirements, we have got business process monitors available. So in the business process monitor, a business monitor monitor can be designed to run at specified frequencies like 15 minutes or uh, so on. And in a business process monitor, I can monitor either and business activity monitoring query like what we created there, it can be one of the predefined queries. Say here if my requirement is to check if there are number of failed transactions greater than zero or greater than a specific number, then I need an alert for every 16 minutes. If I have more than 10 uh, failed transactions, then I need is in warning. If it goes beyond 20, then I need an error threshold. So I can create and monitor like this. I can say monitor failed transactions. And I can get alerts through my preferred notification channels. I can validate the query and then save this. So from now on, I can be rest assured that when my failure transactions are going to be greater than 10 or 20, I would get a warning or error alert appropriately. If my intention is to get alert, even if there is one single exception in my business process as such, it could be within any of the transactions within my business process. In case of an exception, I need an alert. If this is my business use case, then you can just turn on this business activity monitoring on the business process. That is it. From this moment on, if in case any exception occurs in your business process, we would be notified on. So these are certain out of box capabilities that we have recently added to logic of monitoring. So along with this, I would like 
to touch upon certain two of the critical requirements say like nishant was rightly mentioning about um defining user management and auditing say like when in the azure portal though there is an role based access control system in place it is hard to define an appropriate role with limited or need only permissions on the entities but here we do provide option to create a custom role with a granular user access policy and user access policy here is quite straightforward you can provide access at the composite application level with and the permissions being granularly defined so if you do not want anyone to um, uh, modify the state of the logic app or uh, redefine its uh, resubmission so all these can be revoked by revoking the manage permission on the logic app and we can provide or revoke access on the monitoring or uh, the business activity monitoring too so straightforward granular user access policy can be easily arrived at with the help of custom roles in serverless 360 and we also provide integration to azure active directory so that you can uh, be rest assured that only your organization users have got access to your azure uh, serverless 360 account and hence your azure entities so you can invite users from the azure active directory with the help of add user here when multiple users are working on our uh, entities the concern would be to govern and audit their action So here we have an governance and audit section which keeps track of each and every action the user performs on the application. Say uh, myself and Nishant are working uh, in the same serverless 360 account. As a part of this demonstration, he was working on uh, some of my logic apps, which was like uh, he updated the state of details validator. He more turned on auto correct uh, is then a threshold monitor. or for details validated so all these actions are captured under the operation section and we have a bam section which captures the details of uh, actions that has been carried out within the business activity monitoring so as a part of this demo i did create an uh, i did perform and reprocessing on my message received in queue stage so that is being captured so you get to know who did what at on which entity with the help of governance and audit covey.co 